I can see the chat now. It's so great. Zoom. Okay, this is Bokita Heartfelt Reunion. I have no idea what it is. But I am destined to bring about somebody's return. Let's take over the mouse to look around. Wazdi. There's no jump, apparently. Ooh. This is a gorgeous rendering technique. I'm in a creepy forest. This is kind of like what I imagine um, the world of Scanner Sombra looks like when, you know, there's light in the room. Okay. Just feels vaguely Japanese influenced for some reason. I think the tiny pieces of architecture I've seen, plus it's kind of a bamboo-y sort of forest. So far, it's a walking simulator, which is a genre I enjoy. Nice and relaxing. This seems to want me to go inside it. And here is a hole with teeth. I'm sure, that's fine. Empire Strikes Back taught me that a hole with teeth is always a good, safe place to go. Okay. There's a hole. Whoa. This place is huge. Kind of hemmed in here. What? Oh, now I can jump? Uh, how far can I jump? Hmm, not that far. What? Okay, that was weird. Was I, was I supposed to do that? I mean, it guided me to land in the right place. I didn't have any air control, but I, I did feel like I was being shoved around a little. So what that just communicated to me actually was that I'm safe, right? You know, this looks like a treacherous place, but if I jump off an edge, they're gonna they're gonna help me. Help me do what though? What am I what am I trying to accomplish here? <laughs> X Rogan says, don't go into the light. Okay, so apparently getting here was inevitable, but Filling the world with boxes. Yeah, take that, boxes. You exist now. Dude, use the cut tool. Launched a blade. Okay, so I can hold the tool. If I hold the button down, oh, and I can rotate the blade. 
if I hold the button down, the blade grows. And then three is the push tool. <laughs> and then four is the clean tool. Which just destroys everything. All right. I press tab to cycle between the tools. So that's clean. That's make blocks. That's cut them. That's push them. Okay. So now what's all this for? Whoa, okay. Now I'm in a different place. Okay, so I start going faster and faster as I hold down W. That's a convenient way to let me get across big wide areas and but not, you know, make it too difficult to get around within tight spaces. Hold down space to jump higher? What? Alright. I'm on top of this now. I, I, I don't know if I want to be on top of this. Go find all these black pillars and do stuff with them, I guess. Keep holding down shift to to run as though that were a thing. Whoa, even the slanted services will let me build on them? I feel like I might have a little bit too much power. All right. That just felt right. All right, that one's taken care of. When I'm airborne, hold space down to glide. Whee. So that jump I couldn't make at the beginning, I probably could make once these powers are turned on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't jump soon enough. It's cool, they didn't really require me to glide. They just told me I could and gave me a fun place to do it. So this just looks like it's a tutorial in tool switching all right we're good now what 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 I win <laughs> it's like most of the music I used to listen to in high school <laughs> So, the giant eyeball is dilating. I don't know, do, do I want two to be reunited? It seem, seems like, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit creeped out. I know the music is soothing, but uh, I'm not sure I'm on board with this. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to do now. Am I going to be picking up pellets like Pac-Man? This place is huge. Huh. 
The build tool aim at a structure or frame you created. You right click to pull yourself towards it? Okay. So I can build something and then pull myself towards it. Whoa. So I can use that to get around even more. Wow. So what? So can I? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. 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 <laughs> that was a little too fast. Let's try that again. Wow. Okay. I am incredibly mobile. Uh, but what am I, what am I doing here? Can't build anything on that black surface. I don't see any, I don't see any defects on this guy. Well, all of those balls. We will always have balls. Whoa, my face. I'm flying. I'm collecting these. I am Pac-Man. Oh, what did I? Ugh. These are big stairs. And there are many. Let's say the navigation powers that I have in this game are actually pretty fun. Uh, I'm not great at them yet, but I like getting around in this game. That's often the key to making a game playable for a long period of time is just find a really interesting navigation mechanic and just make that happen. I think that's half, I mean, you know, there's a lot of good thing about things about uh, the Dishonored series, uh, but I think one of their key innovations was just giving you that teleport ability. It just makes everything else more fun. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to get away from that, thanks. Okay, so I keep thinking I can make another cube, and I keep uh, not doing this right yet. Fill the door frame. I can do that. There you go. It, oh. Wait, up there too? No? Can I... There's something back there. Ah, ah what, what, what am I? 
Okay, hold on. There we are. Okay, I got I got the cool thing. Now I'm oh wait. Are there, oh there's stairs. Going way down. Way, way down to to this place. Okay. Did I just did I just pass through a portal or something? This does not look like the same place. Yeah, that's something I've always thought was a, would have been a good use of portals. Was, you know, I mean, you got the game portal where you're just consciously using them and you always know, you know, what weird things you're doing with them. But I always kind of wanted to make a game where you're constantly using portals just to make your space disconcerting. So, is that where I want to get? Oh, what? Why did that get busted off? Oh, that's not cool. Um, let's go somewhere else then. I guess we're not going to that first place. We're going to this this other place. Places. Whoa, okay, I passed through a. I assumed it was just gray in here, but it looks like I passed through a barrier. And that thing's weird. Now what? So we got to do a series of these things, I guess? Or... Is this a mirror puzzle? Closer. Yeah, that, that wasn't the right move. Hmm. We'll try that again. Okay, so the problem is. We need a slanted surface to make this work. Let's... Oh, wait. Is this part of what I'm supposed to use? Ha <laughs> 
I think that is not the ideal solution, but uh, it works. All right, so this one's bouncing off that way. It needs to come back here. Will it only bounce this far? Hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, I just realized I've got a cut tool. I can probably make a 45 degree mirror. I hadn't even been thinking about that. That is way better. Way better. <laughs> I should have done that with the previous one. That is not the most elegant solution I've ever seen. All right. So now we're headed through a door somewhere. There it is. This looks a lot like the door I took before. Oh, hey. A little bubble. Okay, now where the crap am I? Is that the original place? I've got no idea what's going on, where I am. So far, it seemed like a miracle that I've been able to find anything or get anywhere in this world because it's just so huge and white and featureless but but yeah it is working I want to get up there oh some kind of oh Wait, is that what I just emerged from? I think it is. Hello, what are you? Oh. I can read these things? Huh, okay. So I want that thing. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get it. I don't think I can pull myself quite hard enough. Uh, yeah. So far I can't. Oh, wait. I don't need to. Right? Don't need to go up the whole thing in one swoop. Make myself little platforms. I love this kind of puzzle game that gives you so much freedom, you know, to just sort of like, just find your own solutions to problems. That was not what I wanted to do. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe something a little shorter at first. Let's try this one. Mm. 
And then this one. Okay, okay, we're up here now. Good. <laughs> uh, X Rogan reacted to me reading that stuff down there, going, There's lore! There's lore in this game! Yeah, there's apparently lore. I don't. It has something to do with bringing two things together. Uh, that's that's all I know. So I guess I'll head towards that just because I don't know. Oh hey dot. Found a dot. I don't know what the dots are getting me, but they are goals. It's funny how like in like just a completely white featureless landscape just the slightest little bit of color is like that's my goal now Right after jumping, you can pull yourself up quite a bit, but eventually that hits its limits. You can't just fly. Okay. Okay, yeah, so this is the place that I started. Oh, I thought I had to click and hold to pull on a cube I actually get a lot more if I repeatedly pull on it that's gonna make flying easier So now there's this guy. Yeah, they can basically rely on me to chase anything dark. Uh, like, there's something way far away over there. Um... Wait, what was that? So... Something dark. So I'm seeing collectibles. I'm not seeing more puzzles. Flying around this world just feels so good. <laughs> so is like, yay, you got 10 out of 67, 57 more to go. tell from the trailer I couldn't tell if this game was gonna be primarily a puzzle game or a walking simulator and it it looks like this is mostly about just sort of gliding around and occasionally finding puzzles okay it's lore about something I just fundamentally do not understand
there's a little doorway. It's interesting. I wonder how they decide which surfaces get these outlines and which ones don't. Like, there's all of these corners in here that just do not have lines. But then this edge has got it. And this doorway is that like, like if, if, if this edge wasn't there, there's no way I would have even noticed that there was a passage through there. So it feels like a conscious thing, but I don't know if that means they've marked up those edges in some way, like sp some specific way, or if they've just made a general rule in the game that certain kinds of edges get marked. But I don't know what that rule would be exactly. I don't know what the purpose is for this place. Ah. All right. I want to get on that. Nope. That didn't work. I seem to have a straight shot at it. As I'm first. Nope. Okay. How do I get high enough to go out that door? Let's give myself plenty of backup plan. The thing is, I need okay. I need to start pulling on that thing before I've started falling. That's the problem. I've got these stalactites hanging down, and I need to start pulling myself up before I start going down. Now, oh, so close. And I don't know. Maybe I'll go up through that hole, and there'll be just nothing there. try. Why do I keep going past this stalactite? What? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> there was one tiny hole. All right. gonna do this okay 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 I just get caught on. There we go. All right, we are out of that hole and in a nondescript place. So maybe there was no point to any of that. I don't know what's happening. Uh, still feels good to fly around though. Oh, 
More stuff. Oh, come on. I was right there. There we go. Got it. Um, whoa, overdid it. This is a very self-directed game. Like, I decide what's interesting to me and I just sort of do it. Here's a building. Let's go look at that building. So I don't know what this game's gonna be like when I've done almost everything. Like, is it just gonna be hopeless? Am I gonna be like, well, there's probably one more thing to do in this enormous world, and I don't know what it is. <sighs> Did that not do it? Did this one have a deeper hole too? Doesn't look like it's got a deeper hole. Is there a hole on top? Do the Minecraft thing? Maybe I need to do all of them at once. Feels like I would need to get it from the side in order to extend it into that hole. Okay, let's start this part over again. And then how am I going to get up there? Can I... Can I actually, like, reach inside here? Can I, like... <laughs> oh, okay. Oh wait. So that one that means I'm not I have not solved this one over here. So 
So what, what did I miss about this guy? Nothing in the top. What's this? Let's clear this guy out. Ah, uh, ha. There's a hole. Okay, okay. There we go. So where's the next one? Oh wait, I just... I just noticed that uh, this was telling me... Oh, that I can just shatter blocks directly whenever I need to. Well, that's useful. I don't know how it's useful for this puzzle, but seems useful. So for this one, the starter is right there. Ah, crap. Okay, now I know why I did that. <laughs> well, I appreciate them uh, worrying about my performance. I think we're fine, though. All right, so what did I miss? Um, that's a black featureless whatever. Okay, so Okay, so there's a hole all the way in the bottom here. So what I need to do is fill this one up first Then fill this one up I love this tool by the way like I always know how it works. Like if I t if I click on something, I make a box on it. If I click and hold, I drag things parallel to it. Pretty clever set of controls. Like once you learn it, it's like yeah, you know how to do everything. Figuring out how to use a two D interface to manipulate three D objects is really hard, and I'm impressed that they came up with something so elegant. Okay. So here's the white part. Funny how this last one is actually so far turning out to be the easiest, even though it's technically the most complex one. It's uh, it's the one that came after the others. So did that did that buy me something? Some kind of additional monolith? Okay. So I'm trying to find more monoliths like that so I can make this huge black ball get bigger. 
존재의 재능을 앞당겼습니다. 하나, 너의 일이 아직 끝나지 않았다. So this isn't just a puzzle game. This is a game where I've got to find the puzzles first and then solve the puzzles. <laughs> wow. And here we are in a brand new space. You know what? I think this is where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, this is a really cool game. I want, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing it. Um, just you know it's interesting you can't really tell just from looking at videos of it and stuff you can't really tell what it is um, but despite the fact that it's I mean it's slow paced it's got this kind of you know stark featureless sort of landscape it's the kind of thing that you know I you, you guys who have watched me a lot see how quickly and easily I get bored um, but you know the, the just the fact they came up with a novel way for me to get around that feels really nice and and satisfying and the puzzles are clever very open-ended um it, i'm actually having more fun with this than i have than i have with a lot of faster paced games so this is cool and we're done